Hello everyone, it is Phil, the Harness Doctor, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to land your BCM pre-terminated lead wire onto your BCM connector. This particular application has various uses, and so I wanted to go over how to do that, along with how to remove a terminal from your BCM connector. So what I have here is a BCM that I believe came out of a 2016 Chevy Silverado. Uh, this application is going to work across all BCMs that will use these similar style connectors. And so I wanted to show you how to do that today. Now, over the course of the years, GM has changed or interchanged different connector manufacturers. And so here I've got two brown connectors that look virtually identical. In fact, you can take it and plug in the connector, both style connectors into the brown port of the BCM. And so what makes this a challenge is that over the course of the years, GM changed manufacturers. And so this one here on the left is a connector by JST as shown there at the top. And this connector on the right is made by TNE. And so identical looking connectors, but the terminals and how they insert are different. The TPA is slightly different, but overall the uh, method of landing these terminals are the same. And so I'll show you how to do that today. Let's move this to the side here. And so uh, the only tool that you'll really need is going to be just a small flathead screwdriver to um, lift the TPA. And then a pick tool is only needed in the event you need to remove the landed wire onto the connector. And so the TPA or terminal position assurance is a locking mechanism so that once your wire is inserted, you won't be able to remove the wire or it won't back out. In addition to the TPA, there is a lever inside each of these slots. And so if I can zoom in here, uh, so you can see these tiny little levers inside. And that's what this pick tool is for, is that in the event you need to remove a terminal, you'll be using this pick tool, you'll get into the front face, and you'll be uh, moving this lever to be able to remove the wire. So let's go ahead and get this terminated lead landed. And again, uh, we've got two different connectors here. And so um, slightly different methods here on the left. This is the JST TNE. This is the TNE connector with the red TPA. You'll take your flathead screwdriver and just pop this TPA up like so. It doesn't need to go far. It just needs to slightly open that cavity and now when we go to slide the terminal in it will pass through the locking mechanism on this uh, JST connector this one is going to be lifted by lifting up here on the top and you'll be lifting it up the same way just like that so you can open that TPA now when you're looking at these connectors and you have the uh, tab up top oh, I just closed that TPA there the way that the terminal will insert is going to be different. So taking this uh, TNE connector, let me take a look at this here. So this one here is going to have the locking lever on the top side of the connector. So when you're looking at the terminal, the terminal will have an orientation. So if I rotate it this way, this is gonna be the up position. This will be the down position. And you can notice the up and down difference by this little mouth here of the terminal. So this is in the down position. If I rotate that 180 degrees, that would be the up position. So as we look at this TNE connector, you'll notice that the lever on the inside is in the bottom position of this uh, of each cavity. And so what that means is when you're inserting this terminal, this needs to be turned into the down position so that lever can catch. If you insert it in the up position, it'll allow for insertion, but if you push it all the way forward, it won't actually lock. You can hear it click when it locks, and so this is not locking. If you rotate it 180 degrees in the down position and you insert, you hear a click. just like that. And when you give it a slight tug, you won't be able to remove it. And then simply just close the TPA. It's gonna be the same thing on the JST connector. 
except the orientation will be the opposite. And so the JST connector is built a little bit differently where the levers are on the top side of the slot. So the wire would have to go in the up position. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this terminal in the event you inserted it into the wrong slot. So we're gonna open the TPA. And then using your pick tool, you're gonna to look at the face and you wanna carefully lift the lever while gently pulling the wire out. And when you release the lever on the inside, it should allow you to pull the wire out, just like that. And so on the JST connector, our TPA is open. And if we look at the face, the lock is on the top side here. So we're gonna insert this up. Oh, my mistake, we're gonna go down. And I heard the click. So there's your positive lock, close the TPA. And to remove this, it's gonna be the same thing. Just lift the TPA up, use your pick tool while applying some pressure to pull the wire out. We're gonna take the pick tool, gently lift the lever while pulling the wire out. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, in this process, it's gonna be the same across all these connectors. And so each one of these connectors will have a, a TPA and the process will be identical. Just be sure that as you're inserting your terminal that you're uh, checking the orientation and you're hearing for that click and then locking that TPA down. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll have a link uh, in the description to purchase the pre-terminated lead wires on the site. And again, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Phil the Harness Doctor. We'll see you later.